What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and this is pretty exciting. This is Rumor Hobby's first uh, dab at the crawler scene and this is, I think, a world exclusive. I haven't seen it anywhere else on the internet and here it is. So it's a 110 scale rock crawler, 2.4 gigahertz, four wheel drive, all waterproof electronics. It's got a front mounted uh, battery, all steel suspension links and also a chassis mounted servo as well. Now, like all Rema Hobby cars, there are two different versions. There's a basic version and there is a standard version. So, in this particular one here, you get twin differentials. They are hard and steel. Ball bearings does come with a brushed motor. 2.4 gigahertz, it's saying there. Four alloy capped oil field shocks. Adjustable alloy slipper clutch. Most importantly, it does also come with an adjustable wheelbase C-channel steel frame rails. So, that is very nice. I do like how you can adjust the wheelbase as well. Not only... It's strong, but it also looks very scale. Okay, now on the other side of the box, you can see the rear end of the car does look very cool. Very similar to the uh, axial design. Storage box here, which is, uh, you can actually use that. Also does have an adjustable tow bar. And here is the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. Now, like I mentioned before, that does come in two, two different versions. This is the basic one. I think the, the remote will be different and the Shell is also a little bit different as well, and instead of some alloy parts, it'll be changed up with plastic. But that's enough looking at side of the box. Let's go see how this guy actually looks. Now here's a box that is inside the other box, and you can see it's nicely packaged. Let's have a look. What you do get inside, first up here is the car itself. But let's have a look at all these other nibbly bits that we should get out of the way, just because you want to look at the the main star of the show first but as you can see we get a nice tool bag here various sizes of allen keys a wrench and a four-way spanner as well here is a basic uh, charger for the battery a nice set of decals to snazzy up that body instruction manual for the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter this comes in all the uh, kits and also gives you some basic information regarding the receiver and all that other good stuff here is the manual for the crawler itself Gives us a little bit of specs here. So the width here is 10.15 inches or 258 millimeters. The wheelbase is 12.3 or 313 mil. Ground clearance of 2.95 inches or 75 millimeters. Tire is 1.9 and 4 by 4.3 inches for the whole height dimension. So there we go. Now these manuals are fairly good actually. They give you very good exploded views on all the parts very clearly illustrated and I think I mentioned this before but you could actually get this in a kit form if they brought one out and build it from this because that's how good it is no issues at all with the manuals here also does come with a full list of parts in case you need to uh, order some and uh, put it all back together now let's get this guy out dreaded cable ties let's get rid of these guys first okay now here is the beast out of the box and first impressions does seem very nice suspension is nicely dampened as well not too springy at all which is excellent but let's go see the body in closer detail so we can uh, have a look at the Lexan and the design of it itself also does come with a, a rear wheel there that is functional as well so you can actually take this whole guy off let's show you that right now and use that on the trails as well so it's, it's an actual functioning wheel and tire combo really nice and i guess while i got the uh, wheels and tires here they are it seems they are a style of bead lock not a traditional you can see there is a bead in there that's locking it together because if i try and tear that out i cannot tear it out so it hasn't got a bead lock at the front here but it's sandwiched in between these two wheel pieces here very cool it seems to hold it in very well as you can see i'm trying to pull it out and i can't pull it out but the tires they seem fairly grippy fairly soft it's not the softest i've seen but the tread pad pattern looks very aggressive and hopefully it'll work out on the trails but uh, i need to find that out in real world testing now as you can see there's a very large wheel well where that wheel was sitting in the back of the tray there and the plastic frame is really beefy as well they look like five millimeter tubing it's all plastic obviously and it is fairly flexible uh, but it does look very scale as well and the whole thing can be separated here with these six screws so you can take the whole part 
off the Lexan if you wish does have these nice four LED buckets so you have no LEDs in them installed but you can see it'll be easily uh, be able to do that if you wish up here under this imitation checkerboard you have a little box under here and that's your little storage box that I was mentioning earlier in the video now on the Lexan front it just seems basic Lexan nice and flexible at least it's all painted nicely in a silver color and all the windows have been masked off nicely so ready to just apply all those stickers that came with the kit as well okay so here is a very familiar design we have all seen this before traditional C channel frame it is all metal like I mentioned before nice and black so everything does look really cool it does have nice you can see here red telescopic these are fairly high nylon content drive shafts so it doesn't just snap they have a little bit of flex in them which is nice right up here we have our brushed 550 size electric motor so that should be plenty enough to move this guy around it isn't a speed demon so i don't mind it being brushed it's a rock crawler so that is fine by me do have some nice rock side on the, on the side here and if i flip it around you can see right underneath and uh, yeah it is a familiar design as you see with the G-Mades or the Axials, does have some nice aluminium links here. They seem beefy enough. They seem about five millimeters in diameter, thereabouts. But uh, everything seems, you know, fairly well built from first look. Also, the steering linkages are all the same thick aluminium tubing, so that should be plenty beefy enough. And it also is right here. A chassis mounted servo that is a metal geared servo and uh, steering angles seem quite adequate for uh, rock crawling but like I said I'll have to check that out in the field now here is your brushed ESC all waterproof and you can also run this on nickel metal hydride or lipo and you have this little dip switch is here or not even a dip switch you kind of just pull these out and position them where you want them to so that's very cool. I do like that it has that uh, function because a lot of people don't really use nickel metal hydrides. It's all lipo nowadays, but it's good that that is there. And yes, it is waterproof. Now right there is your adjustable tow bar. Really cool. It's plastic, but it does have a little tow hitch there, which you can, I guess, hook up a trailer. Good stuff. Up here you have your battery mount that's at the front of the chassis. And you kind of lie the battery down on the side and kind of sit it upright just like that looks fairly decent a normal size battery tray and the you've got cross runners to help support and stiffen it up and they are all made out of plastic in front of the guy here we have our nice bumper bar two led light buckets no leds installed but very easily too because there are holes necessary for you to just put it in there nice pliable front bumper bar looks pretty cool nice and mean i do like the design now as you can see there are traditional designs here all made out of plastic but the uh, steering angle seems very adequate to me. Um, it's a very common platform, this. You've seen it in other kits, but it does work well. And I don't think it should be a problem with this. So far, so good. Seems to be built very well. And you also see that we have our traditional style shock absorbers or shocks, alloy cap, plastic bodied. And to adjust it, you just need to put some um, preload tensioners under there. Now, just looking at the back of the car here, and what's interesting. It mimics the front, so if you wanted to do four-wheel steering, you have the servo um, actual mount there, bracket ready for you to go. These body posts are adjustable. You can slide them up or down depending on the body that you get, or you can probably just use any other kits for axials or G-Mades or any other kit like that, which is a 110 scale. I'm sure that it is a very common wheelbase, so everything should fit. It has a slipper clutch under this plastic housing here, or the transmission and the transfer case, is metal geared and it is all sealed in there so nothing can get in there and damage the gears but uh yeah metal geared we'll see how that holds up with real world real world use sorry and like i said it does have a slipper clutch now i also forgot that there's another box in here that holds the uh 2.4 gigahertz transmitter so let's get that out good thing about these i only use four AA batteries which i like has like a little door here and it gives you all your basic throttle uh dual rates steering trim steering and throttle trim sorry and also your steering dual rates as well your little bind button there but you don't need any of that you can also reverse this steering wheel you can just kind of push it to the other side if you're left-handed or right-handed 
that's kind of a novel feature there. Just turn it around like that. It does feel, you know, decent in the hand. It does have a nice foam wheel there, so it does the job. So there we go. I put some of the decals on, just the uh, front lights, front grille, and a uh, little thing on the side rear window there. But that's it. There we go. All done. Let me know what you guys think in the description. This guy's so new, hasn't even been uh, released. I think no links at all. But once I find out that, I will leave him down below and uh, you can go check it out for yourself. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe. So I guess proof will, uh, well, time will tell how this guy is. Obviously, it does look very similar to an axial and the ladder frame and all that kind of stuff is nearly identical to all of them. They Look, they all are very similar, except maybe for the new Traxxas car. But uh, this is at a price point. As soon as I find all that out, I will leave it in the link down below. So thanks, guys. Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.